have a nice day today we discuss about the phylum slentrids earlier we have discussed already protozoa and porifera today we discuss about the phylum slentrids why we call them slentrids or nidaria here the two name first slentrids and second one nidaria slentrid this group of animals are called slentrid because they are having the body cavity body cavity in the sense they are having the space inside the body we call them slentron so we call it slentrids and these animals having the nidoblast nidoblast is the specific cells in these animals which used for protection as well as injection uh, as well as injection or eating of insects nidoblast is the stink cell in this group of animals so these are called the nidaria group so we call it the nidaria group or nidaria phylum in this group animals are the multicellular it means they are made up of many cells these animals having the tissue grade level of organization means in this group living beings are made up of tissues what are the tissues tissues is the group of cells group of cells which having the common origin and perform the similar functions are called the tissue so this group of animals having the tissue grade level of organization these animals are the symmetrical symmetrical it means these animals can divide it into two equal parts two equal identical parts so we call them symmetrical these animals having the radial symmetry it means through the radius of the animal we can divide into the two identical parts so these animals are the symmetrical radial symmetrical symmetry it means the animals can divide it into two identical part left and right part we call them symmetrical these animals are acelomates acelomate it means these animals having no true body cavity acelomate means these animals having no true body cavity it means they do not have true body cavity body cavity it means the space which is present inside the living being where the organs are present we call them true body cavity now these animals are the diploblastic it means they having the two jumps layer in the structure so we call them diploblastics these all animals are the aquatic they are found in the water especially in the marine water so they having the aquatic habitat it means these animals are found in water aquatic habitat or they found in the marine water or salty water these animals having a some unique feature like these animal having the single opening for ingestion of food and ejection of food for ingestion ingestion it means intake of food ingestion means intake of food and second one we call it ejection they having the common opening for this process it means they are having no well developed elementary canal discharge of undigested food ejection it means discharge of undigested food from the body we call it ejection so these two, for these two process these animals having only single opening in the case of respiration these animals having the body surface 
for the respiration or gaseous exchange for respiration or gaseous exchange these animals having the body surface or skin they having no particular specific organs for the respiration or gaseous exchange these animals are tissue grade level of organization it means the made up of tissues so these animals having a cells for digestion so these animals having a specific space inside it we call them cilentron and cilentron is the space present inside the body or inside the structure so this cilentron is the gastrovascular cavity gastro it means digestion and vascular it means circulation of blood so this cavity is known as the gastrovascular cavity where the digestion process as well as circulation process are completed now in these animal the digestion is digestion process is inter as well as intracellular intercellular it means between two cells digestion process intercellular it means between two cells how it is possible these are the two cells suppose the digestion process occur in in this area of the living being we call it intercellular digestion while the intracellular digestion in this case food is digested inside the cell so whenever the digestion process occur inside a cell due to the enzymes we call them intracellular digestion this is the intercellular digestion in the living beings so in the case of cilentrids they have been the both the type of digestion intercellular as well as intracellular intracellular digestion mainly occur in the unicellular animal while the intracellular digestion occur in the multicellular animal so these animal perform the both the type of digestion process intercellular digestion occur in higher animals in higher animals while the intracellular digestion occur in unicellular animals so in the case of hy hydra or in the case of cilentrids or nidarian animals both the type of digestion occur so we call them intercellular as well as intracellular in these animals the locomotory organs are the tentacles the locomotion occur through tentacles tentacles are the structure which are helpful in the ingestion process as well as in the locomotion of animals locomotion is the movement of animal from one place to another place is called the locomotion these animals having the another important layer inside their body structure we call the mesogilia mesogilia is present only in this group it is without cellular or acellular membrane there is no cell in this structure it is only protein layer acellular layer or protein layer which made up of protein so we call them protein layer it is present between two epidermis outer epidermis and endoepidermis present between two epidermis so this is the specific layer of cell layer of animal which is present only in this group so this is the mesogilia here we discuss an animal we call it cilentrid this is the animal this is the hydra this animal is known as the hydra this animal is classified in this group it having the outermost layer we call them epidermis these animals having the nerve net also it means they having the neurons also neurons are present in this group of animals neurons are the cells which are responsible for the transfer the message inside the body these animal having the space this space is known as the gastrovascular cavity gastrovascular cavity is the space present inside the living being we call them gastrovascular cavity this is the mouth as well as anus because this is the single opening in these animals and in these animal another layer or present we call them mesogilia outer layer we call them epidermis inner layer we call them gastrodermis and out middle layer we call them mesogilia it is present only in these animals these animals having the cells because these animals having the tissue grade level of organization so all the functions are performed 
by the cells or group of cells. These animals also having a specific cells we call them nidoblast or nidocyte. Nidoblast are the specific cells which are responsible for the killing of insects after capturing of them. Insects are captured by the tentacles in the case of ingestion. The insects are used for capturing the insects. After the capturing of insects, these insects kill by the nidoblast cells. So in the case in this group, this is the second group of non-coded. In this group, the sexual reproduction is present as well as asexual reproduction is also occur through the budding. Asexual reproduction through the budding. In these animals, especially in the hydra, the reproduction occur through the exogenous budding. In hydra, exogenous budding is formed. Exogenous it means the bud is formed outside the body. We call them exogenous budding. But what is the bud? In these animals, this is the hydra. Suppose this hydra having the this is the hydra. It having the opening. We call them mouth as well as anus. It having the tentacles also. These are the tentacles. These are the tentacles which are useful to ingestion as well as locomotion or capturing the insects. This is the inner space we call them gastrovascular cavity. On the surface of nidoblast, they are having the on the surface of tentacle they are having the nidoblast which kill the insects. In the case of hydra, they are having an outermost they are having the outer growth on the outermost surface of the body. This growth is known as the bud. This bud later on develop into the a well developed small hydra and this hydra is converted into the new animal we call them budding. This is the small hydra it will be developed on the surface of this hydra. So this process is known as the budding. So in this group in this group of animal they are having the reproduction through the asexual method we call them budding in hydra. Hydra is the animal which having the heterotrophic mode of nutrition in which the budding is also an example of the reproduction. Now we discuss about the other animals of this of this phylum. They are having the other animal just like a jellyfish. Jellyfish is also an example of this group. Another important animals of this group we call them corals. Corals are the beautiful animal in the ocean and the corals are also example of this group. This is the jellyfish. Jellyfish, uh, it having transparent body, so we call it them jellyfish, but it is not true fish, not a fish, not fish. Because fishes are classified in a different class, so this is the phylum in which the animals which having no notochord, and these animals are only slentrids, they are not a fish. But common name of this animal we call them jellyfish, and its technical name or scientific name is Aurelia. So corals and jellyfish also a very good example of this phylum. Corals are very important in the case of island formation also. Dead bodies of these animals form the island. So corals are used for the island formations. They are very beautiful animals. They are present in the ocean and they increase the beautiness of the ocean bottom. And another specific cell present in this group of animals. Earlier we have already discussed these cells. We call it the nidoblast. Nido. Nidoblast is the sting cell which is present in this group, so we call them nidaria. Due to the presence of these cells, we call this phylum is called nidaria. This is the nidoblast cell. This is the nidoblast undischarged nidoblast cell. Undischarged nidoblast. Whenever insect come in contact with these cells, it will inject and its venom or its liquid. This is the liquid or venom of this cell. It introduced in the insect and insect become paralyzed. So this is the nidoblast cell which is used for killing the insect or paralyze the insect, killing or paralyze the insect. And second one we call them protection. So these are the two function of these cells. Protection from enemies. So this is the phylum we call them slentrids. So some things are very important for this phylum that is the, the examples of this phylum that is the examples first of all hydra is a very common example of this phylum. Second one we call them jellyfish. 
जेली फिश और अनदर और टेक्निकल नेम एंड टेक्निकल नेम ऑफ दिस फाइल एंड दिस एनिमल दैट इज दरिया नाउ सेकेंड वन नेक्स्ट थर्ड वन वी कॉल एम कॉरल्स कॉरल्स आर द प्रजेंट इन दिस फाइलम ए वेरी स्पेसिफिक कॉरल प्रजेंट इन दिस फाइलम दे आर वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एंड दे आर यूजफुल फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द आई लिम्स थैंक्स अलॉट फॉर टूडे